from Singapore? I'm from Singapore, yeah. yes. So I used to work with the National Parks Board. Yeah. Uh, I left them last year. Yeah. Uh, basically, so I used to work with the Singapore Botanic Gardens, which is a division within the National Parks Board. Okay. So I start here. Yeah, okay. uh, morning, everyone. Eh? Good morning. Um, but I hope this is not the first time that you all are here in Singapore. It's my first time. First time. First time. First time. First time. Uh, uh, multiple times in Woodlands. <laughs> <laughs> Understand. Okay. So, but I please uh, I can safely presume that this is the first time to the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes, for you lah. Well, welcome to Singapore then. Thank you. All right. So uh, the thing is where we are right now. Uh -huh. This is what we call the Green Pavilion. It doesn't look green, basically, but this is uh, the sort of like the meeting point uh, within the Singapore Botanic Gardens. So I should say, first of all, uh, Singapore Botanic Gardens, Gardens has an S, but there's only one Singapore Botanic Gardens within Singapore. The reason why that is an S is because it is a multitude of various, uh, smaller, many smaller gardens within it. So one of it, for example, is the National Orchid Garden. Another one is Ginger Garden, we have Children's Garden. So there are many pockets okay. of smaller gardens within this. Mm -hmm. Now, the Singapore Botanic Gardens is a division within an agency that, uh, that uh, reports to the, um, the government. So the Singapore Botanic Gardens is a division under a board called the National Parks Board. Mm -hmm. So the National Parks Board is an agency uh, that deals with the greenery, conservation and animal management within Singapore. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it's a single button, and it's just like one branch, one division. There are other branches or divisions, for example, a division that manages the greenery outside on the roadside. Mm. So we have what we call streetscape uh, yeah. division. We have a unit that deals with conservation. Uh, so we have pockets of areas within Singapore which are nature reserves and that's managed by conservation. We have a unit that deals with uh, biodiversity issues. So the National Biodiversity Centre is another one of it, yeah. just to name a few. Okay. The Singapore Botanic Gardens itself has got a very rich history. It dates back all the way to 1859. Mm -hmm. So it's about 100 and more than 160 years old actually. Mm. But this is not the location of the first botanic garden. The first botanic garden, although it wasn't, um, it wasn't linked to the government, it was uh, all the way in Fort Canning. Uh, right, so right, if right, you have right. heard of Fort Canning, yeah, yeah. so that's back in 1822. Even uh, older? Yeah, even older. But it was just for a very few years. I think just about uh, seven years. And then because of, I won't use the word mismanagement, but because of lack of management, so uh, they closed it. And then years later, 1859, they were looking for another uh, area. So this was where mm. it's been. So since 1859, there's been this location. Mm. Now, any good uh, botanic garden, and this is a quite a, uh, this is a, a very good botanic garden within a, within Asia and definitely within Southeast Asia. Obviously, we have uh, other good uh, botanic gardens, including one like say in Bogor. Ah. Okay, um, but here in Singapore and Southeast Asia, this is one of the so-called leading uh, botanic gardens. And when you are a leading botanic garden, you need to have an established herbarium. Mm. I'm sure you've heard of the word herbarium, yeah? Yeah, yeah? And also a library. So yeah. both units have been established since 1875. Mm. Now, uh, the structures back then, so it's a bit old, so they uh, brought it down, so built new ones, which will pass by. But what you see as structures, all these wooden structures, Mm. Okay, even the one here, especially the one in the middle that looks this, um, you know, Clean. know star shape, whatever. Yeah, la, yeah. That's from the old Herbarium building. Oh. So they sort of recycled it uh, to use it for that purpose. La. So I thought I started from there okay, and then we can move on. Yeah? yeah. This looks quite new. This is since uh, 2006. Yeah, 2006. subsidized by the government? Um, it is because yeah. it's, a, it's linked to the government. So I won't, say, I won't use the word subsidized, it's actually funds are provided fully. Yeah. Yeah. So and um, good to say because the Singapore Botanic Gardens, there's no paid entry. So it's free entry, free entry, free entry okay. into the Singapore Botanic Gardens, except for one location. And that's the National Orchid Garden. But it's pretty um, how should I say? low priced entry, just $5 a head. Okay, and uh, on certain occasions, like school holidays, is actually free for students and for accompanying adults. Mm. Okay. Uh, all other parts of the Botanic Garden, Children's Garden for that matter, Ginger Garden is all a free entry. Mm. However, when we look at Children's Garden, which is the first Children's Garden within um, Asia per se, uh, 
we as adults, we cannot enter. <laughs> yeah, because the kings and the queens are the children. <laughs> <laughs> so without them, you cannot enter. Uh, so, I can't like one. <laughs> <laughs> there is also a certain minimum height. <laughs> la, yeah. okay. No, but uh, 12 years and above, uh, 12 years and below, you can enter. Uh, above that, you're considered a teen, teenager, so uh, you don't have access unless you are accompanied by a child. Mm, uh, so, but anyway, if you're 12 years and below, you cannot enter freely on your own. So it's a cat 22 situation. Right. Now, I stopped here because of the occasion. So, this building is relatively new since 2006, where, and this was also the location where the old herbarium was and the library. Okay, but then the library moved and then come, came back here. So I stopped here because of the signage here. Looking at the signage, uh, a few issues I wish to raise. One is the concept of heritage tree. So within Singapore, we have now over 300 trees which are recognized as heritage. So these are adopted a big tree with significance, maybe because of the age, maybe because of its cultural value, maybe because of its economic value, whatsoever. So then it's rec they bring it up to a committee within the National Parks Board to say, we would like this to be written. How important is it being a heritage tree? It means then that this tree needs to be protected. At all costs. It's, nah. Well, it's not elevated to a, uh, a nature reserve. That's a different story. Nature reserve, there's a bit more of uh, obligations as, as well as um, um, uh, Small government, mandatory. many things, yeah. Okay. It will be good. Uh, if it's a nature reserve, it's gazetted, which means that it has to go through many, many layers. But heritage tree is more or less in one of those layers where if you want to even prune, you need to be, uh -huh. you need to go through some protocols, lah, put it that way. So this tree here, it's quite huge. It's Penaga Laut or Calophyllum Inophyllum. Can I, we are familiar? Huh? Okay, well, yeah. Cannot bluff my way. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> you, you can, you can. I'll try. I try my luck. I try my luck. I'll see how. I'll see how the, the you know <laughs> <Go> <laughs> the, the eyes are rolling. We, and not we, we are nice people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Anyway. When the old Herbarium Library uh, needed construction, so they started construction in 2003. Okay, it was supposed to go for a few years of a um, construction lah, to build all these new ones. But as it is in a lot of these established places, I would say there's a lot of presence. Mm. You understand the word presence? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, which is why then you need to appease this presence. Okay, and you can read there. This paragraph, during the development of Tenling Corp, which where we are in, blah, 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 the contractor and workers refused to continue until a Chinese medium uh, was hired to obtain permission from the spirits uh, that supposedly reside in a, a tree. Uh, works proceeded smoothly after religious rituals. So, I mean, so I'm not bluffing because it's true. I was here when the construction was on, but of course we were not here. We did see that there was an altar. Uh, and where uh, they need to actually appease the spirits. True enough, like, you know, places in Asia, yeah, there's yeah, a lot of yeah. such beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. So it is sometimes safer to believe because we were told uh, bulldozers couldn't dig or bulldozers somehow or other um, uh, wasn't able to work. So they weren't able to do a lot of digging. So there was delay in the constructions. Partly uh, after that, they managed to do so. Now, as a heritage tree, you notice these pillars. We are now on the ground floor. There's another level which you don't see for now. But believe me, here above is exposed. So there are no rooms directly above because oh. we need to account for the branches. Oh. So like I said, even to maintain, we need to maintain it properly. So it allows the branches to go through. And you look at this wall here, it's, I would say, crooked. Lah. It's not a straight one because we need to maintain for the roots. Okay. Uh, so that's one way to actually ensure that heritage trees are maintained more or less. Mm. Lah. And obviously, I think I won't need to mention on, on the trees, a lot of those epiphytes that are growing. Oh, right. Now, the epiphytes, they are not uh, heritage. <laughs> so, if we wish to, and anyway, they are not trees. They so are, because he's working right. Uh, yeah. So, we tend to actually prune away if necessary. But sometimes it's useful to just see because when we have uh, cases like this, trust, uh, kids or sometimes adults who are not familiar with botany, they'll ask, oh, why are the leaves like that? Which is the true leaf? Which is the tree, true fruit? Even when you see fruits like the orange one, yeah. they say, nope, that's not the fruit. You see, oh, so nice it's useful to highlight that. Mm. And you have a lot of this other accompaniment uh, vegetation here, part and parcel also to ensure maintenance and that 
ground is not compact for the tree. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the heritage tree got its own kingdom and all the yes. members. Correct. Standing. So there is a unit within the National Parks Board that manages solely on heritage trees. So we have over 300 trees, mm. such trees now. And, and, and how old would that tree live to? There are some old trees eventually. Oh, yes. Die. Yeah. So uh, we lift them as that. We try to maintain. I think the, this, is not, this is not the oldest tree. Yeah. Uh, we have one of the oldest ones, which is more than 200 years old. Within the botanic gardens, which we'll see later on. Oh. This one, it did say that I think it was planted. Well, did it say planted somewhere? Yeah. Ah. Well, I think it's been here a long time. Longer than 1960s yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We, we see a lot of carvings like this here. You notice in the beginning also. These were brought, um, I should say, within Singapore, we have an important event uh, within the calendar. Uh, every two years, we have what we call the Singapore Garden Festival. Yeah. And that's held usually in August. So coming this year, this is one of those years where we will have the Singapore Garden Festival. And these were brought mostly from Indonesia as part mm. of a, a, a landscape garden competition. So we have uh, within the Singapore Garden Festival some competition items and these were brought. And I should stop here because we'll see later on because of this one here. Now, um, yeah, we have within uh, the Singapore Botanic Gardens a very interesting uh, diplomacy program mm. um, in this situation whereby when we want to foster good relationship between nations and, um, and so we will introduce VIP orchids, we call it. And they are named after VIP, so yeah. after, you know, very important person. For example, we have this after name after Emperor Akihito, yeah. uh, um, this, um, um, that's the queen. queen. This is the queen, you and then we have, about her. Yeah. oh, uh, Nelson Mandela, correct, and of course, <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. So what happens is that when we have these visiting dignitaries, um, we will present them over at the National Orchid Garden. Mm -hmm. So then um, we'll present a new orchid. So you know for sure in the orchid family, you can crossbreed them. And when you crossbreed them, you have you know the offspring. Fisherman's friend. Oh, terima kasih. Susah nanti nak bawa So sorry. Um, we have the offspring which are totally new and they are nameless in that sense. So this is where then we get the opportunity to name all these orchids after them. Then uh, so we have um, this group called the VIP orchids. We also have uh, a program for celebrities. So which then we call celebrity orchids. So Jackie Chan was here, uh, Ricky Martin was here. A very naughty orchid, I would say, for Ricky Martin. <laughs> Doesn't want to bloom unless you provide music. Okay. Oh. Ricky Martin music? No, no, you really have to shake a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, anyway, in this case then, um, so we have, I think, over close to 300 VIP orchids now. Obviously, they're not marketed, so you're not available out in the open right. for sale because they're only available here because we don't want to lose the value of these VIP orchids. However, if you know the names, the parentage of the orchids, you can always create one. Yeah. 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 So all this in the orchid gardens? In the orchid gardens, mm. but in order to create or to make them from uh, plantlets, so through tissues, la, tissue mm. culture, is done here oh, this this is in this lab. laboratory. Lab. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here is the media room. And then we have colleagues here who are preparing them. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah. Cleaner than my lab. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ooh, this is the culture room. Yes. That's really so good to show people this. Yeah. So what we do? I want to buy one actually for my lab. But <laughs> we have one. For my <laughs> personal, uh. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> home lab, home lab, home lab. Home lab. Home lab. Okay. Yeah, so from the uh, preparation room where they prepare the media, then they uh, uh, they prepare the tissue, tissue culture, and then then they prepare in those flasks over there at the back. Mm -hmm. And you know for sure if yeah. they are in this uh, shakers yeah. here, the merits, uh, they, they remain just as uh, clones and uh, yeah. undivided uh, for sure. So after a while, after months, then when they get bigger, then obviously then this will be transferred out or divided again. And then they'll be taken out to grow in the National Orchid oh, Garden. Right. And then once they reach a certain stage, you know, like, it's uh, much faster to go through this tissue culture mode anyway. You're not bluffing, right? This is Professor of Plant Science. Oh dear, okay, <laughs> let's move on, shall we? It's transparent. People can see as a really showcase. Really, yeah. Really good. 
So that's the idea when they did uh, this, basically. Because, you know, you can't go into the lab. No, no, of course. Yeah, it's, uh, it's clean correct. lab. Yeah, yes, cool. yeah. yeah. So, but it's so established nowadays, uh, everyone, have, even in schools in Singapore, yeah, we do have, we do yeah. have uh, schools that uh, have their own labs at, no, or they, they, they come they here for sessions. I mean, yeah, really exactly. Really it's so yeah. established. But people still do not do it. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. So I think children will like yeah. right? yes, exactly. science. Oh, what's yeah. science? So we have adults even coming out. What is this all yeah. about? So we, yeah. it's useful to just that's, explain that's what so it is. That's mm. really good. So then, we'll be here. Sir, sir, is it all orchid for the cloning? Ah, okay. So we started orchids uh, basically in the, the hybridization, hybridization program started all the way back in 1920s. And we have the second uh, director of the Singapore Botanic Gardens, um, Professor Holtam. Not sure whether you heard of the name, Professor Holtam. Of course not. So, uh, so we have important names like Ridley. Holtum, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Ridley, yeah, I <laughs> Henry know. Ridley and uh, Eric Holtum. So these are important names because um, they, um, they, they introduce a lot of um, uh, botany, yeah, yeah. the importance of botany, yeah, importance yeah. of plant collection mm -hmm. uh, into it. So uh, Holtum started with the hybridization program specifically on orchids. Mm -hmm. So majority of it is still on orchids, but now they have uh, uh, they've gone into others. So not just on herbaceous plants or uh, um, 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 uh, what do you call that? Uh, on monocots, but now the dicots as well. Right. So trees also they've okay. started as well, oh. especially those that is of significance to Singapore, those with conservation value. Right. You know? Conservation or economic? Or oh, we don't have economic because Singapore doesn't practice a lot with okay. plants per se, so it's mostly conservation. Okay. But the problem then, even with conservation, it is difficult. So uh, we have also a separate program where there's a, there's a, a unit within the National Parks Board that con concentrates a lot on conservation per se. La. Mm. So they'll end up here before then being transferred out. Lah. So then I want to say, just highlight the building across. So the Singapore Herbarium is there and the library is there. Right. Okay. So they are linked per se and obviously they have to because you know a lot of the work is sort of related to one another. Um, the Singapore Herbarium collection in terms of its type specimen also a huge uh, collection and it's quite an important depository. Uh, they've gone into the digitization mode as well. So a lot of the, yeah, a lot of, a lot of the specimens are being uh, digitized. So in that sense, um, taxonomists don't really have to come here because it's easily available. Is yeah. it available for the public? I mean, the public can go to the website to see the scan of herbarium. Um, they can technically, but most public won't. Which is why then what we do is, if they want to physically touch the specimens, obviously they can't enter. But the library has a stock take of some. Okay, so ah, how they look? Yeah, correct. Right, yeah. So right. then, will people coming to the so library will just they can experience that. They can experience, right. and the library has two sections. One is what we call the public reference section, so for the general public, mm -hmm. and one we call the staff section, so this open to staff of National Parks Board. Mm -hmm. National Parks Board has now close to, is it 2,000 staff? Yes, 2,000 staff. So uh, it's quite big to manage the whole of Singapore. But the library, uh, the botanic gardens have, I think, close to 100 to manage the botanic gardens. But you'll see a lot of maintenance uh, staff um, who are contractors, lah. So, so, so to speak. So they are not staff of the Botanic Gardens, no, but, but they are not yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. So we'll be going this way. This way. I, I remember it late because mm. this is the guy who started the rubber industry mm. as well. Yeah. And he's not bluffing there. I am not. <laughs> Very good. And so they have, we have a, a number of um, um, conserved buildings. And so this is one of it. So this was where the old herbarium used to be. And now it's converted into a meeting room. So called Ridley Hall. And here it's just reading about Ridley. So Ridley, pretty important for the rubber industry, as you mentioned. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it's also <coughs> called Matt Ridley because he was so passionate about it. Well, he came in a time when uh, rubber wasn't the crop, uh, cash crop. Mm. So other cash crops include coffee, for example. Um, and in the past, obviously, they're nutmeg and, um, and, and um, cloves. Yes, but yeah. then for some of these uh, crops, basically, uh, when, you do, when you do a lot of monoculture, so obviously then uh, there was uh, issues with pest, so yeah. diseases. Yeah. Mm. So these cash crops sort of like, well, cause the, the farmers to actually lose a lot. So it really came at a point of time when um, rubber became... Kind of interesting 
So a number of seedlings were brought over from Brazil because, you know, the native habitat is from there. And so it went through Kew Gardens and some because Kew Gardens I and mean, Singapore was uh, Singapore was a British colony mm -hmm. uh, then. So when Ridley came, some of the seedlings were given to Singapore Botanic Gardens. So he tried planting them. And so there's an experimental site within the Singapore Botanic Gardens where the, uh, the first seedlings were planted. Obviously, those first uh, seedlings are gone now, but the offspring, the F1 generation, mm. or is it F2 now? Um, <laughs> planted here, lah. Mm. Anyway, I'm not too sure whether you heard, but he experimented a lot with how to tap rubber. Right, right. So he introduced this concept called herringbone, yeah. uh, you know. But then over time, that became to only like, I mean, you all are familiar in Malaysia how uh, rubber is tapped. We don't do rubber. We you do don't rice. Ah. We do rice. Ah, rice. Ah, we do okay, rice. interesting. Yeah, we are rice people. Ah, okay, good, good, good. And also me. onion. Onions, yeah. you oh. can grow very well in, in our... This is the guy. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, but basically, he's called Matt Riley because where he, where he goes, trying to promote this in Singapore mostly, and even in Malaysia, he carries a lot of the seeds. Mm. So, um, then he tried to uh, cajole a lot of the farmers. Oh, do this, try this, yeah, try this, try this. Yeah. But because of, the cash, because of the drop in the cash crops, and also because of the rise in the... Moto industry, yeah, they, they needed they rubber tires. Yeah. Uh, so that's where revolution. Mm. That's where yeah, that's yeah. where then, yeah. in a way, put it this way lah. He came at the right time, the right, right, place. Yeah. 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 right place. Yeah, lah, in a way, because auspicious we, time. Yeah, correct. Right. So that's Everything how just it worked. Is. Correct. Right. So I just want to highlight a few important plants. Um, are, are we familiar with this one? Um, I do. Do you? <laughs> Anybody knows me? Uh, lipstick palm. Yeah, lipstick palm. Cetostasis renda. Uh, yeah, Cetostasis renda. Uh, I, why I highlight this? This is oh, okay. Okay, cannot bluff him already. <laughs> <laughs> Cetostasis renda. Uh, lipstick palm, sometimes called ceiling wax palm oh, yeah. or laka palm. But this is the plant, which is the emblem of the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Right. Mm. So if you uh, let's put this there with the logo lah. So if you look at the logo of the Singapore Botanic Gardens, which is different from the logo of the National Parks Board. But the, the emblem or the logo of the Singapore Botanic Gardens reflects the Lakapam. Mm. This one here. It is native to Singapore. It's, it's, it's native. Uh, it's not endemic, but it's native. It's so you can find that in Malaysia as well. Uh, but, we do, but this is highly ornamental now. Uh, same here. Mm. It's purely ornamental now. Mm. Because this is what we talk about conservation. You know, because of development, we lost a lot of uh, areas, yeah. right? So the, hmm, the uh, true native species is only found in two small pockets in Singapore. Yeah. And Where it's about? just like one. It cannot tell. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. No one knows, yeah. no one knows. <laughs> well, I do. I've seen them. Uh, but, uh, and they are, be because they are so, uh, they, the, the, the population is so small. So it's difficult to actually then, for them to actually establish themselves even further. We tried to bring some um, saplings out. Uh, so I think there is now an established population within the National Park Sport and we'll try to increase that. So I put it this way, but don't quote me. A lot of these plants say the genetic makeup is not from true Singaporeans. Mm, so, yeah. Well, we... we, we Minus is all, huh? <laughs> Minus is all right. <laughs> We, we call ourselves Malay, we, but genetically, you're not. You're, Malay. Oh. <laughs> you're not you're Malay. Born in, born in Malaysia, eh? Uh, born, born in Malaysia. But, 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 but the generations but, before that, lah. Yeah, ah, born in correct, Malaysia. Correct. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're having some programs here. Interesting. Are they drawing? They're drawing. Oh, is that music? Ah, no. Uh, we, uh, Green roof, but they use orchids. Yeah. So, that one is Holtham Hall, Holtham but it's also a museum. Mm. So, uh, Professor Holtham, when he was here uh, in the Botanic Gardens, he actually worked on the second floor, you know, the ground floor, first floor, whatever you call it. Lah. And so, that was his lab. And so, this hall is a conserved building, but it's converted to a heritage museum which will also then allow me to, uh, I mean, give me the opportunity to highlight. Um, we are fortunate enough that when Singapore turned 50 years of independence, that's in 2015, because Singapore gained independence in 2065, mm. um, we gained our first UNESCO World Heritage Site. Right. And that's the Singapore Botanic Gardens. So Singapore Botanic Gardens has attained its um, heritage status, the World Heritage status, UNESCO status since then. And I think in the, we are in the process of trying to get another one of cultural significance. Lah. Mm. 
hawker centers but i'm not too sure hawker haven't... center you eh? hawker center uh, oh, you should try <laughs> let he, him try he, durian he, no, no, he, he did he did, he did. He did. last night he durian da blom yeah okay good yes. because yeah, this is a season for durians yeah. anyway yeah, mm. all the asian stuff please yeah <laughs> chili crab i get you get chili crab yet i don't think so chili crab no yeah no okay. chili doesn't sound so yeah uh, it's not so spicy don't worry the chili crab is quite mild because european taste and american taste <laughs> seriously are you right in front of the person <laughs> seriously no, this too, i'm not i'm not i'm not joking i'm being honest seriously if you want to try the true um you know true chili taste we have to go somewhere else right? <laughs> yeah so but behind here this is a new building the cdl gallery so usually we have exhibitions so current running exhibition is on birds lah birds. Uh, yeah we are, not, we are not going in here but i just want to highlight here because now in the past we don't have we have this uh, animal the otters yep. which is never seen but in the last 10 years because of conservation program then they start to proliferate so there's a lot of population oh. pockets of them everywhere and there is a population within the singapore botanic gardens oh. and they used to actually house their mold that means oh. you know their yeah. nest yeah, so yeah, called yeah. is below there that's, that's the sign it's working it, right. it's working it's healthy. Uh, healthy. Yeah. Healthy. don't call <laughs> okay. oh, that's, right. Right. Hey, monitor lizard. <laughs> that's one animal which I'm, i didn't know it could crawl on the wall. when they are that stage baby yes and then they reach like maybe a meter or a meter and a half they still can after that you only see the it's Ooh. too heavy that's yeah that's one animal you give me crocodiles okay this one i run away <laughs> <laughs> I, I <take> the <laughs> uh, so the like you said you know the conservation program works for animals so we have for example the oriental pike hornbill which mm. was also never seen but we have an offshore island pulau ubin yeah. where there was only uh, i think it was a uh, breeding pair which actually came from Malaysia, lah, from Johor. Lah. <laughs> Thank you to you all. Lah. <laughs> but I think they You're prefer, they prefer <laughs> Ubin than Johor. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, don't call me. Ah. <laughs> so we started a, a breeding program of the Oriented Pipe Build. And then after that, over the years, uh, we were successful, including the otters. But then this is where then you need to strike balance. Be too much. Yeah, because yeah, then there's, hum uh, there's human-animal conflict. Lah. Yeah, yeah. So like, for example, the otters, you know what they eat? Fish, right? Yeah, so no. where we started, there were ponds. There used to be lots of, uh, no koi, but gone. <laughs> and then they also eat a lot of expensive koi and people. So there is that uh, yeah. balance to be to strike yeah, when yeah, we do yeah, all this yeah. conservation program. Yeah. So there's the, a lot of the yes and the nays. So right. We need right. to get rid of the otters. But then the lot but the otters, because they're so cute, <laughs> they have a very strong um, watch. Uh, 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 unit or volunteers who look after them seriously. Right. So, yeah. Spike, yeah. are you the otter person or pa panda person? I don't see pandas. I've seen otters, and otters are native to here. So I accept otters. <laughs> but you give me pandas, I will pet lah. <laughs> <laughs> because people spend a lot of money to just exactly. to, to a panda. Sometimes it's just to the point. Is it really worth it? Yeah. Uh, and I see. The question is, <laughs> worth it for whom? It's not for us. It's for China. Oh. Oh, you didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is not a heritage trail. <laughs> this, 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 this is the heritage <laughs> trail. <laughs> oh, I like this tree. Oh, that's a beautiful tree wouldn't yeah, you? but before that, I want this one. This the this is the one you know, that you saw the river highway. Uh, they call it the midnight horror. Wow! So it's very um, in the night. It stings a lot. Yeah, from apparently. the pot, from the tree, from the tree. Yes, yeah. correct. Midnight horror. Midnight horror. Yeah. Beautiful tree. But ah, uh, we're coming to that tree. Midnight horror, right? Take a number of this pot as well. This is quite an imposing tree. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, this is the kapok tree. Kapok, um, yeah, kapok, uh, yeah, yeah, seba, yeah. seba pentandra. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the name is yeah. the, yeah. the, like, like a material to stuff in pillow. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, yeah. In pillow. Very so, seba pentandra, yeah. not native to us here. Um, kapok silk cotton, yeah. So, in the past, uh, planted a lot. We plant some of these also now on our street trees. Which to me, honestly, I love the trees as much, but they get messy when they start to fruit. Because, yeah, you got yeah. this in your college, yeah. right? Yeah. Suddenly, yeah. suddenly snow. Mm. Yes, but the unpleasant the snow. So the cotton, the, the, fruit, the cotton is from the, from the fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the cotton yeah. and yeah. The, it's, it That's split open. Bit, right. It releases okay. this uh, mm. fluffy white. 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 Uh, mm. So this fluffy snow, snowy thing is the complement to the seed. So the seed is really tiny. Mm. Much, much smaller yeah. than the seed of an apple. Yeah. 
And so, and that's, as you said, Snow Witch is what I wanted to say. He, he, he used my word already. Yeah. <laughs> so, but <laughs> this, tree, this tree is quite naughty now. You, I think it's because it's re reaching that has maturity. La. Sorry, you'll be still beautiful. You so, are really so beautiful. What do you do when it starts to do all this snow? They will all be all over the place. We just sweep them away. Oh. Mm. But which is what is nice. You should put a netting on it. Well, we sometimes <laughs> they will report to say, ah, come to see snow. Yeah, snow, oh. snow exactly. Oh. So this place is completely really, really white. white. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really white. Oh, wow. But what I like to highlight is also to you know people who are passing by is the buttress system but and the root. Yeah. You see, you're reaching out so all the way. And I'm it's a very Exactly that, and it's a very fast-growing tree. So mm. apparently mm. planted yeah. in 1933. Um, but I should wish to highlight this. Good job. Uh, honestly, I've seen people coming to big trees like this, and we do have another tree in the rainforest where they pray, asking for. Okay. Four digits. Oh. Then go to Toto. Loto to, to get oh, numbers. Lottery. Lottery. Yes. Lottery. 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 Uh, or whatever the case may be. Lottery, right. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. Lottery. And this is also one of the trees that uh, basically they had to appease when they were doing construction. Uh, okay. But I just want to highlight, I don't know what you can see. What is that? That uh, grey little thing. knob. Uh, in the Botanic Gardens here, we have to protect a lot of our huge trees la. so that's a lightning protection system oh. yeah so if Take in the picture. past we yeah. used to uh, it's a bit different now so it's a bit yeah. modern so i can't really tell much about how it goes but there is a copper wire metal yeah, that's right oh. yeah in the past yes but i don't see that's linking now so i think it's a different mode okay. uh so it's, oh, okay. this is improved okay. system la. uh because last time there was a different uh, meter and above it was a, a meter that um, indicates how many times it has been struck by lightning. Okay. It was so this tr this tree has been struck by lightning before, you know. So this like, is a, like like a, a, it, it earth the yes the correct earth mm, yeah. correct yeah. Does Singapore get hurricanes or hurricanes? No, uh, thank goodness cyclones also not. Okay. Uh, but because of climate change, yeah. lately okay. there's been a lot of strong winds. Okay, you're gonna say that's mm. yeah. So within the Singapore Bot Botanic Garden, we we did have one uh, large tree a couple of years back. Uh, which was a tembusu. You heard of tembusu? Yeah. Okay. You heard, you know, what's tembusu? Tembusu. Uh, I, I know the tree, the location okay. is there. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, Sato, well, it's changed name. So now it's called Sertophyllum uh, fragrance. But that tree was massive also. It's over 65 years old. Boom, fell. I won't say much more yeah. about it because there's a lot of story behind it. But it wasn't here. It was over in the, another part of the garden. So number of the trees we have to protect basically and this is how we put it because of significance value i think this one is also a heritage tree correct yeah heritage tree so we have to you know maintain as much as possible and try to ensure that the tree survive well this tree is quite naughty because it's also deciduous Oh, yeah. uh, which is what happens you can see they're all this yeah no but what happens is when the, all the leaves are gone and then people who visit the national parks uh, the singapore botanic gardens will come see Eh, the botanic gardens, yeah, dead. <laughs> dead. They report. It's like, oh, you don't know how to look after your tree, is it? Yeah, so. oh, no, 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 no. It will spring back. It will really spring back. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, yeah. That's not very common, is it? No, no, no. no. Uh, only, yeah. only certain trees. <coughs> uh, the pararaba, that's the cedars. Yeah. Durant not. Durant not. I'm sure you heard of this. You're familiar with the sound, yeah? Um, the chirping, the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is what I like, the cicadas, basically. Um, what I like about the cicada here in Singapore and also in, in Malaysia mostly, because it's melodious. If I've been to another part of Malaysia, um, won't see where, but that's part of nature. <laughs> and also in Thailand or even in Europe, in Italy, where the sound is like this. You start at 6 o'clock in the morning, until 6 p.m. <laughs> How to sleep? You know how to enjoy, but basically after yes. a while you get used to it. You just ignore the sound. But this one is so very melodious. Um, so I'm not too sure whether you heard the story because, like in US, there's this specific species or two two species of cigada that the you know as a as a um uh, uh, as a lava uh -huh. they borrow burrow underground Bur yeah. and they live for years. Um, so one of them lives well uh, emerge after twelve years. Uh, another one emerged after seven years. So, and this year is they call it the super year, where both species 
come out at the same time. So around in, in south southeast, so in Pennsylvania uh, area in US. It's beautiful to see, but it's massive everywhere. Then after that, they're gone. Then you wait for another 12 years or so to see them again. But the sound is deafening. I like to see these ornamental bananas and then when, when the you know, kids especially, I say, where are the bananas? I say, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so small, they said, you know. But this is useful for us when we teach them about what, where the true flowers are because in general, just like when we look at bougainvilleas, uh, we see what's the color of the flowers, they say, oh, purple. Which is no, it's not like, huh? so, you know, the purples are the bracts basically. Maybe I can give you a fact that you can tell children. Uh, yes, please. I will steal the information. Uh. Uh, Don't maybe, charge maybe, me. Maybe, uh. maybe, maybe, maybe you know it old. already. The largest herb on planet Earth. The bananas, yeah. which is what we say. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And which is what is important because we tend, even for adults, mm. well, kids for that matter, when they say, how does a banana look like? Sometimes they don't know. Lah. <laughs> Unless you show, right? Then I say, and they keep calling it banana trees. You can't call the banana a tree because it doesn't mm. have a trunk at all. Yeah. It's called pseudo trunk. Lah. And then we yeah. try to explain, so, oh, it's leaves. Ah. Mm. It's leaves. It's the sheep. It's fine, yes. Yeah. Concentration. Yeah. yeah. And banana fruit is actually a berry. Yeah, that's it. Wow, that gets very confusing. <laughs> what? Then you, you blame botanists. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I blame taxonomists for the name change as well. Ayo, uh, can die. Oh, so, you got this thing, uh, the largest seed, coconut, uh, double coconut. So I'd like to highlight here this in this grove here, we have a number of uh, double coconuts. Um, if you're familiar, I think they're only found in Seychelles, Mauritius. Yeah, so, you know, uh, yeah, in the Indian Ocean there. But we have, uh, they have a collaboration working program with Bogor. Oh. Uh, uh, gardens uh, where we exchange seeds like, basically because otherwise you're not allowed to take any seeds out of I mean without any proper um, certification because they they are under CITES okay oh, that really yeah. oh, right. CITES, okay. so you yeah. cannot you cannot uh, take any of the seeds out of those uh, natural habitat but you can do exchange program even uh, you uh, I don't think you're allowed to have it in your own personal gardens per se so it's quite protected because the population is uh, quite, uh, <coughs> low. And the interesting thing is for the fruit, um, you know, coconut will float and then they okay. can populate into islands. Okay. If they float for this plant, the Lodoisia, if they float means they're dead. Oh, yeah. why? Mm, that's how they are, which is why they cannot populate other islands. So oh. if they float, they are, that means it's already uh, gone. Uh, it's not alive anymore. Uh, yeah. So, but... What the other interesting thing is, this plant is dioecious, meaning has a separate male, separate female, uh, and the female will obviously will be like this lah, because uh, you see all this uh, the yeah. female uh, one. But the problem is they get so big, they get so big because one fruit can be about thirty kilogram, wow. you know. So the male trees, are, yeah, and we have the male trees not here, the male tree over at another part of the garden. So this is where it gets interesting when we want to uh, pollinate this. Yeah, literally someone, so I mean, the tree. climb the, the other one, collect the pollen because that tree is you know, male. Use lah. drone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good, that's a good thing actually to try and collect the um, no pollen drones, from drone. Yeah. You can put all the arms, extension. Ah, then maybe, do, do maybe they're doing um, that, strutting. not too sure, yeah. So in the past, that's what they did, collect the pollen and then climb up. Yeah. But this is new though, there was a bigger one that died. It mm -hmm. takes about 25 years for them to mature. Is it more than uh, 20 years or so? 6 to 20 years for them to mature and show signs. So like this one, I don't know. Like, unless they do ge uh, genetic tests, but some right now we don't know whether they're male or female. Mm. Mm. Oh, you don't know until they... You don't know until oh, they start right. to show this. Okay. But maybe DNA... I don't know whether they do uh, DNA tests, lah, you know, to see. Mm. But as, as far as I know... Maybe mm. hermaphrodite. Yeah. <laughs> the one for this plant, we have not heard of any hermaphrodites yet. Yeah, so... They are quite unique, which is also another issue in terms of their, uh, how should conservation lah. You need to have both, and then you don't know which is male, which is female when you yeah, have yeah, a seed, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh. And any particular reason why they are dead upon water travel contact? No idea. Um, how is it? Is it because it's not completely? Uh, waterproof and then the water gets in and then yeah so the endosperm is dead i guess yeah, when water gets in yeah. yeah and then when they're dead they become they are more yeah they're lighter yeah. and yeah, they float right. around yeah. 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 which is also maybe that's yeah. the reason why the endocarp and everything is very thin mm. because the whole fruit that you see 
it's like ninety percent of it is the seed. Oh. Yeah, oh. unlike coconut, you know, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a larger husk portion of it. Yeah, and uh, we do have problem with beetles here. Uh, palm beetles, yeah. uh, which they gnaw away, gnaw away the um, um, uh, the growing portion. Mm. So this is a trap to collect oh, okay. a lot of the beetles. Yeah. Like this? Oh, okay. mm. you, you just learned about it, right? The the red, red palm <laughs> weevil uh, from yes, the, uh, from uh, the correct, uh, yeah. coconut plantation. Yeah. Is this on purpose? Looks like a nice looking mulch. Yes. So yes, uh, in a way, we in the botanic gardens, what we do is because we know the um, uh, uh, the leaf litter uh, will be recycled, so yeah. they will just be swept away. It also reduces the maintenance, lah. Yeah. Because mm. otherwise, if we keep nice removing, yeah, yeah. 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 Like Correct. In the botanic gardens, this is how we do. Mm. Uh, but in a landscape garden, like in the parks, we can't have this. Why not? Because it's landscape, <laughs> and people. Walk all over the place in the okay. parks and all that. So and then so it mess out of yes. it. There. <laughs> so but then but in those parks, then surrounding the tree, maybe then there will be a bit of the leaf later. All uh, mm. right. But then the problem now, I won't use the word problem. Oh, 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 oh. Change all you want. It's okay. <laughs> don't put my picture. Huh? Don't pause oh, in the video. No, no, no. <laughs> this is audio. Okay. Audio, yeah. Audio. Okay. You put another name lah, another uh, face lah. Yeah, That's okay. Right, Not Hassan right, Ibrahim right. anymore. We'll we, we, we put that Venice uh, mask. I mentioned my name. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Please. Yeah, uh, what I wanted to say is that we have um, wild chickens, wild jungle fowl. You will see them here. And I won't say naughty, but as chickens do, scratch all over, mess them up, and we have to sweep again. Then do, they do it's their business, lah, basically, you know. Ah, which is why I'm talking about jungle fowls and monitor lizard. Good balance. Ah. Ah, good balance. I just stopped there, like, you, like, you know what I mean, lah. So, you know, in Australia, Christmas, they have these uh, scrub turkeys. Oh, really? And, and they're not allowed to do anything with them. Mm. So they just go around and they just create yeah, havoc. Yeah. They just mm. create these massive yeah. nests. In, in, in Q as well, they got this yeah. uh, fowl. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Which fowl? Uh, I forgot. Is it a golden something? Oh, the pheasant. Uh. The pheasant. Ah, the pheasant. Okay, pheasant. Okay, yeah, okay. pheasant. Ah. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I wouldn't touch that. Yeah. But this one. Actually, the, the male that looks beautiful. Yes, <laughs> and here similar uh, here the males are really beautiful because the I would say like, the females are important, but you know, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> really important, right? We got the females, you don't get the whole chicken, but they really breed easily. A female needs to stay modest. <laughs> oh, that's the way. Unlike in the human world, eh? Different story. <laughs> human got walk said. <laughs> What's that scrying ball? Well, yeah. Um <laughs> When was that? Let me see. The I think was some years, uh, twenty twelve or something like that. Is it twenty twelve? What was the year? Uh, it's a Swiss. Oh, 1991. Oh my God, all the way back. Ah, okay. Swiss. 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 Yeah. Swiss. yeah. <laughs> this is what's important when uh, they were celebrating their seven hundred anniversary. So seven hundred uh, existence as Swiss Federation. Mm. They donated this Swiss ball. You mean rock? They donated rock. <laughs> the rock is, but this ball, this this one was actually from here. Is that one? This marble uh, ball, whatever they call okay, it. Okay. But uh, and, and you know, just with water pressure, they just turn. You stop it, it will turn again. Yeah. But the interesting thing is to note how heavy it is. Make a wild guess. Uh, two hundred kilo. Huh? Two hundred kilo. Mm. Mm. Significance to the 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 anniversary. Significant. Oh, seven hundred. Seven hundred. Yeah. So they say. Oh. Uh, this that's is like twenty times you. <laughs> okay. Actually, that, if you think about it, that's a good yeah, compliment. Good, compliment. Okay, uh, slim, slim. <laughs> good. I remember that this ball is 700 kilograms, that's 20 times me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, good. Menganjing, tapi tak marah. Um. We have to, really because good. it's UNESCO, yeah. World Heritage Site, and these, I tell you, this is one of the... Ooh, alamak, this bird, oh, oh, with the tooth oh, tail. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! The drongo. Drongo. Mm, drongo. I've never seen the drongo. Yeah, and the drongo, beautiful... In, drongo? In, drongo, yeah. Drongo. Um, <laughs> and the, that, that two tail there, and it imitates sound very easily. Oh, you oh. can imitate a lot of sounds. Very nice. And it only lives in forested areas, so with the national, I mean the rainforest itself, there's a good population, but sometimes they come out lah. What I wanted to highlight is about this grove here, this Nibong grove. Ah, uh, Nibong. Hmm, but before that, that do, eh? I wanted to show the moat of the cicada, 
Sometimes oh, they are found okay. on the tree yeah. Mm. But this one, uh -huh. I like to highlight the existence. Even palm. It's not heritage because it's not a tree, yeah. Yeah. right? But it's iconic because it was planted in where is the year? You see, 1950 was there already, but 1878. Right. Okay. So this this whole palm growth, I mean, you know, one of the um, the the. the Trunk would have died and then new shoots coming out, new shoots coming out. So this yeah. has been in existence it's since 1870. Victoria era palm. <laughs> yeah. So it still retained its, you know, sort of the like unique structure, uh, more or less, uh, but it's gaining um, quite, uh, you know, its um, maturity over maturity already. Like. So, um, but we're still hoping that a lot of new shoots. I, I just come. wonder because. Um, um, Many of these heritage tree, you you guys seems to know the exact planted mm. date. Mm. Why? Does, does does it mean that from the beginning this garden has been practicing the tagging system? Yes. Right. So since it, a lot. Yes. So since eighteen seventy, in that way, I would say we thank the British lah. The British, oh. they love tagging. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you have to lah. You know <laughs> what we call tagging. in Chinese we call saka. <laughs> in Malay we call you know lah sapu 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 sapu. Okay. Yeah. We have to thank the British for that because and we also need to thank the British because when. Singapore was uh, part of the Japanese occupation. Mm -hmm. We have two directors. Uh, the uh, the Holtom was one of them, mm. and um, not sure you heard of Professor Corner. Um, so these two important uh, persons um, were working in the botanic gardens then, and they ensured the running of the uh, botanic gardens. And we also should thank I think uh, what's his name, Kwan Koriba. He uh, he ensured that this place was not bombed oh. during the Japanese occupation. Yeah. Oh. Be Magical dome. So no, we have that Japanese person. Uh -huh. So he is the sort of the one that relates to the government. Okay, this is oh. important thing that happens. Yeah. Thank goodness yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They, it was they, they are aware of the true significant value of a place yeah. like this. Yeah. So this place was never bombed. But then, in that sense, that two uh, British um, or English, I know Con is English. I think Holtam is also. Uh, that they were interned. In here, so yeah. they were. Okay, which they, then, they couldn't leave, but they, they couldn't were. leave. Oh, right. uh, but they were given that opportunity to actually well, work. You know, okay. so, yeah. so, so uh, they were way. given the opportunity to work. Yeah. So then they they use the time to do a lot of this. You know, yeah. uh, publications especially yeah. during that. Are very productive. It's impressive. Even Q got bombed by the German, yeah. and then that destroyed the Alhambra, right. and the other yeah. structure. Yeah. The yeah. only left is the pagoda, yeah. and this is you know. Yeah. I think that was I'll a mistake. That. I don't think they were aiming for Q. I think they just <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they just brought the, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. So there's no military significance. <laughs> but that, that was well, that was the, the garden for the uh, yeah. royal. Uh, I think this is called Princess Curtain. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Princess Hill, Princess Curtain. Abang lepas ni nak ke mana? I'm working at the library. Oh, yeah. oh. Ya, kan sebab kalau ni kita orang nak ajak lunch sekali. Oh, seron. Oh, boleh. Where you going for lunch? Uh, no, I can't. Kan boleh. I'm not allowed to. Oh, kalau mm. keluar? Pun not allowed to. Oh. Mm. But it's nice. Thank you so much. Tak... Anya. Anya. Thank you so much. Because someone say I'm 20 times the you know 20 times 20 times me than that is about so I have to be on diet. <laughs> I like to highlight this. Sorry to say. While you heard about the Nibong being planted since 1878, mm. this is even much older. Let me see. 1861. And Botanic Gardens was here since 1859. So you know, a couple of years later, they had this plant planted. So I cannot vouch for sure that this is the original one, but I think because of the records and this plant has never been removed or new one planted. So this is it. This is a native to Singapore, but not endemic. Uh, this is the tiger orchid, uh, which has the coloration of that of a tiger. So they call it tiger. But what's interesting is this is an epiphyte actually, but can be trained to grow on the ground. So as an epiphyte, it needs huge trees mm. because when it's established, it can be as heavy as one ton. One ton. Big tree. Big tree. So, and this is actually from one plant with many offshoots and 
quite naughty. I really say we are quite naughty. But um, when they start to flower, they just finish actually. They just finish a couple of months back, and it was just one spray. But when you when you do have a few sprays coming out, beautiful. You can have as many as two hundred individual flowers. Beautiful, and it's quite an established one. And this one is one of the orchids that um, make Singapore Botanic Gardens. Uh, go towards a very strong conservation program on orchids lah. it was listed as extinct and uh, so we think that maybe this is the only one even not to show even though we use the word extinct so not to show whether this is of singapore's origin or not okay but we have been successful in producing this through tissue culture mm. and release this a lot on the streets of singapore the issue with conservation though is you must ensure that they're able to actually produce on their own. This is where the issue comes in because so far we have never seen uh, new uh, tiger orchids spring out on their own. So what we've been releasing so far has always been from the program and planted or mounted onto trees. Lah. So this one doesn't need the associated mycorrhiza? They can be... They have, no, they need. They, need, they still they need, need because this orchid, right? Yeah, still correct. Need, they need, yeah, they have their own mycorrhiza. Yeah. Now let me give you a treat. We're coming to this one here and then... Two iconic places. What's that? Yeah. So when there were prisoners of wars during the Second World War, when Singapore was occupied, the uh, especially the uh, Australians, yeah, uh, prisoners were brought here, and they laid these bricks. They laid these bricks. And what's unique is, as this is what I like, as a sign of defiance. It's, uh, I don't agree with the Japanese kind of thing. I put a mark. They place this mark. Oh. So, and this, this mark to say. Yeah, this arrow, this one arrow. here. Oh. Say that I'm in pretty arrows on most of the British. They were detained by the authorities out of their own mission. Okay, but do I? You're prisoner, what? <laughs> so, yeah, this bricks, so in that sense, um, we have to retain them in its original state. So, oh, okay. cannot be removed. And there's still some signs yeah, like, yeah. along the way. You can see, yes, a number of them. What, what about what did you actually do? I have to, but this mark, this mark won't go away. Oh, like, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Correct. Yeah. So, and um, so this is quite an old place by itself. So since then, uh, I don't think we need to so go down. But just to highlight from you, you'll see the water lilies there. Oh yeah. But that's the Amazon water lily, the Victoria water lily, ah. the world's largest water lily. But they don't do that well in Singapore. Yeah. They actually grow like twice that size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they queue, yeah, queue. exactly. You, you probably need to follow Q on this. I right. don't know whether they got to do. They... It cannot be the weather though. <laughs> They want to go. They put, they put, they put uh, a fish from uh, a Amazon. A fish? Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's, that's, that's why in queue it looks very good. Oh, because yeah. of the shit. Uh. Uh, no, I kind of, the, the fish kind of like coexists with that. Oh. Oh, like ah, that's unique. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. Ask you what's the fish? I forgot. It's a, it's a ah, pira, 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 pira. Oh, pira, those pira. big ones. Yeah, big ah, one. Very yes, big. I see, I see. Very big. Very big. We had those over at the start there. And you know what happened. La. Oh, no, I think they were removed. Oh, because they were afraid. Yeah, they were afraid. <laughs> we had them before. They were, we were, even there were arowanas yeah. in another part of the garden. But <laughs> Let's take a look at the, one of the iconic uh, places of the Singapore Botanic Gardens. When you look at pictures of Singapore Botanic Gardens, mm -hmm. There's always that um, uh, structure, which Gazebo, is called the, pavilion. Yes, we call it the bandstand. Bandstand. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. during the the British in the past, lah, they always like, like to have picnics, right? <laughs> when they have picnics, they always have live band. So true enough. <laughs> you, of course, I've never gone for a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> you have one in Western Park as well. Yes, that's true. <laughs> bandstand. <laughs> and who's playing? <laughs> But this one, I don't think we, well, in the past, yes, lah, but uh, this is no longer used for that purpose. Mm -hmm. But it serves a very iconic place within the Singapore Botanic Gardens, uh, where, especially for wedding photos. Mm. Ah. Yeah. In a good day, sometimes you see a lot of uh, wedding, well, uh, couples, lah, who are just getting married, or before they get married, they want to have their, you know, uh, wedding photos, portraits be taken. This is one of the places that they go to, lah. Hmm. They should do yours here. In the lama, not apa ya lah. Renew the vow. Oh. <laughs> so if you all want to come back and renew your vow, yeah, the yeah. botanic gardens, well, yeah. No so new vow anytime soon. <laughs> ben so, Stan. Yeah, Ben Stan, correct. But what I like to highlight is what's the trees that's circling yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, it is not deciduous. It is 
truly only showing this yellow petal. Oh, because yeah. it's a mutation from the true form. I thought not enough nitrogen. It did. <laughs> so this one is actually the rain tree. Yeah. Oh, Samania, Samania Saman. Saman, correct. Uh, we'll pass by the true Samania Saman later. So uh, yellowing due to mutation. Mutation. Natural. Mutation. Natural. All right. So out of a hundred seeds, they say one could be this. Mm -hmm. uh, and so these are all now. And the thing is that they are sterile, yeah. so they don't produce flowers. Tissue culture. Only tissue culture. Or oh, so, cutting. yes, to cutting. Okay. So so that's what they do. Yeah. So they do propagation through uh, vegetative propagation only yeah. La, yeah. basically. Mm. And this year. Own, they only plant the uh, yellow form Samania Saman, which is nice to give this kind of you know, uh, iconic this, value. This is this it's is called a rain tree perfect. because um, because of the shape. Uh, it's got the umbrella shape. It's umbrella. And people say because the leaves are small, when they fall, yeah. they look like raindrops. So then, when we ask kids, this one, not this one. When you when you see the you see the true form, they thought will pass by. They say, why is this called a rain tree? And maybe test him. The Malay name is Poko Pukol Lima. Which is five o'clock tree. Okay, that's mm. another, another name for it. Mm -hmm. Rain is at five o'clock every day. Is it? No, <laughs> <laughs> which is what Monsoon kids time. like to say. say oh, say, okay, let's wait for five o'clock and see whether the rain comes. No, but it's quite interesting. Five o'clock tree. It's a legume. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so because in the evening, in, have you heard of mimosas? Yes, yeah. Mimosas yeah. react to touch. Yeah. Whereas for no, rain, tree, drink. Yeah, no. uh, oh. <laughs> I've, I've only heard of the drink tea. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the rain tree is like it reacts to light. Okay, so in the evening, five o'clock, so it gets dark. So it tends to droop uh, because it has that the knee point. Yeah, the where, ah, yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, most uh, number of legumes. So rain tree is very significant. It does that. Mm -hmm. But the rain tree is not native to Singapore, though not native to this part of the world. It's actually from uh, South America. But we have recognize it as a uh, introduced species okay. not uh, not a ex um, it's an exotic but it's not a invasive species we do have a number of invasive species though okay we are going let's do safe transpiration um i mean like at night time why do you want to some some trees do that yeah yeah some trees do that i mean like there's no need to intercept radiation as much yeah, yeah sure so they yeah. just drew yeah uh and next morning they, yeah, they, they, they react to yeah we react yeah. to like correct yeah yeah so we go this way i love this one of the banyan trees one of the fig trees oh and we have a number of uh, if you are familiar with figs um they can also be stranglers yeah yeah yes. no, they're, 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 correct so we have one strangler yeah. in the rainforest there which again people cow tow to it it's one of the largest tree uh, uh in, in in singapore although i've heard in records where um Oh, it's a feather of a bird. Oh, okay. Beautiful, you know. So where a single strangler fig covers uh, the whole, the size of three football field. Just one tree. Amazing. And you know, like, the structure is all because of the aerial roots, right? And they become like that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. We have a number of these jalutong trees, huge um, trees here. Which in the past, you know what they did? They actually also they uh, it belongs to the family Apocynaceae, uh, oh. so they have uh, sap, uh, oh, white sap. Yeah. So in the past, it was tested to see whether it can be used as uh, chewing gum, okay. mm. but Apocynaceae cannot lah. Uh, so <laughs> at that point, yeah, at that point in time, they didn't realize it, but true enough. But the other thing was even the, remember in Malacca, I showed you the frangipani yeah. flower. Yeah. That's the family. Oh, uh, Frangipani? Yeah, we have. We have lots of Frangipanis. Frangipani groves here. <coughs> Frangipani, that's my top five. Really? Yeah. I love the... I, my, my first is Jacaranda. Oh, really? Yeah. So exotic. <laughs> Jacaranda. One of a kind. Oh. One of a kind. <laughs> But uh, the French pennies, I think it's the same Malaysia. We in the past we plant them a lot in cemeteries, so which is sometimes they call, yeah. which is why in, the, in my culture, like Malays, uh, we also sometimes call it the cemetery tree. And uh, technically, when you plant the tree, we have to be careful, lah. You know, huh? Oh. Presence, presence. We always say presence. Presence. Mm. <laughs> Oh, the saga. Oh, um, yeah. Saga. Ooh, this Adenantra. Um, yeah, this one here. Yeah, it's quite iconic. It's a very old tree. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen the red 
saga seeds. These was valuable in the past where they also That's use, yeah, uh, yeah, the seeds. This one. Uh, this uh, Adenanthera pavonina is not native to Singapore. We do have uh, native Adenantheras, uh, which produce very interesting colored ones. These are pure red, right? Yeah. But the one that we have is half red, half black. Oh, which is also a chimera. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, nat natural. it's natural. It's natural. Uh, and uh, there's another one that looks also red and black, mm. but it's poisonous. But from from another uh, genus completely. Mm. What is this Adenanthera? This one here in the past. I, this is all the game. When we are growing up, we don't have computer games, right? Yeah, yeah. So you use these yeah, and this you play. Yes, traditional yes. Game. Yeah, important. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so it's important. Yeah. Uh, so and, and they used to collect seeds because they're quite beautiful. Mm. But nowadays, there's just an iconic tree on its own. So it's mm. just, we don't plant them anymore. Oh, yeah. mm. Probably co-dominance. That's why you got the two colors. It's like... When, <laughs> Maybe, you know. When, when the, the mom is red, mm. father's is white, the ah. baby is pink. Come back, Kak. See how that works. Come back. In my during my undergrad time, I I read in a book talking about this tree. It it says that six of that uh red beans yeah. is enough to put you off if you ingest. Okay. Yep. Six. Really. Six toxic. Six. Do you two toxicity? Yeah, toxicity. Oh, I don't know. I think I read in a book. Okay, okay. Some time back. Oh, bukan tu cekik. Um. Oh, I didn't hear of it. Oh, that, that could be the reason out. as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Touch a kid means choking. Choking. Frenchy Penny collection. Oh, huge. Family yeah. Three. <laughs> Where's Saloma? <laughs> happy. Just put him in the Frenchy Penny yeah. Grove. He'll be happy already, yeah. lah. Okay. <laughs> so you know, lah. If Professor angry, but you give a Frenchy Penny, yeah. uh, yeah. okay, yeah. happy. <laughs> In Bern, the yeah. lab there was right next to the botanic gardens uh -huh. in Bern. And sometimes we'll be working in the lab and someone will come to the window and say, Oh, my child has eaten one of these. Oh, what happened? What's going to happen now? Probably go to, even now, go to the hospital. Right? <laughs> no need to see. No. <laughs> probably the, 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 the good thing is to just to give the charcoal first. I mean, like, oh, the, in I'll, case. I'll, I'll just go, go, go. Yeah, it got to the doctor worry. very quickly. I don't know yeah. what they because in, in the past, uh, one of the solutions for the uh, traditional Malay, <coughs> when you ingested something that unknown, yeah. they just drink milk. Milk, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they drink milk. Now, um, the Botanic Gardens is divided into three main cores. Mm. Uh, this one, the Heritage Core, otherwise known as the Tangling Core. Uh, then we have the Bukit Mako, which used to be an economic garden where they planted a lot of experimental, I mean, crops. Uh, and then we have uh, another section, the Central Core, uh, where we have the National Orchid Garden and the Palm Valley, which is quite a distance. So the whole of the Singapore Botanic is quite huge. We have expanded a little bit more. So I think now it's more than 80 eight hectares. Not big, yeah. But we are covering just a small section of it for the heritage in this one and a half hours. Lah. And another one of the heritage value of here, which is why uh, this um, gardens also received the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So also because of one uh, another tree, that tree there, mm. the huge tree, will come that near to it. Old. Mm. That looks old. It's a tembusu. Uh. Uh, so that's a certophyllum fragrance. But it's also iconic where it has been it's not uh, recognized as heritage tree, but it's also imprinted on one of our notes. Uh. I don't have my five dollar note. We don't have to. We cash this now. Oh, oh. Very good. <laughs> so let's take a closer look. We go nearer, and I show is you. Is it the five dollar, two dollar, five dollars, five dollars, mm, five dollars? So which is why quite kind of sad, lah. People call, hey, look at the five dollar tree. I say, hello, excuse me, don't be rude, ah. Huh? You cannot get this for just five dollars. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's a, an old dame. It's really an old dame. Oh, what's other? Five dollar. You got it. Don't no, have. Ten and two. Uh, no five. The, the red ones are good into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lama, sorry. Oh, 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 cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> the blue one will be better though. <laughs> ah, I should show you this structure. What was that? Uh, it's a gr uh, grass mower. Oh. Oh. Are there? Oh, are there? Like grass. Like <laughs> yeah. ah. Okay. Uh, not the tatipu eh. Orang tu kasih. He gave it to me uh, freely out of his own. It's a grass mower, so I think okay. during the evenings, yeah. it's uh, it's uh, operated 
uh, it, it has to be charged lah. Yeah. Then after that, it just goes on lah. Ambil gambar rumba. Is that yeah. like a rumba at, at home? Uh, yeah, you know like the vacuum yeah, yeah, cleaner. Yeah, vacuum, ah, yeah. okay. This one is for grasses. For grass lah. So, so this one is maintained. That's uh, working at five. I think uh, what I heard now is the, in the past we used to have it, but we got visitors, right? Yeah, right. Ah, so in the evening when there's lesser yeah. you know, visitation, yeah. then or even at night also, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, it goes by the length yeah. of yeah. the grass. Oh, right. Uh, correct. Okay. Got a sensor and everything. Ah, correct. Yeah. yeah. Let the otters ride on top. <laughs> How long have you been working here? Well, uh, I left. I so called semi retired oh, after twenty oh. years, lah. Uh, nobody ever retired if you do what you. Left. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't go retire. Don't go into that anymore. If oh, once you re telling people. <laughs> no, no, it's true. Don't retire. Once you retire, you sit down, do nothing. That's Watch it. You, TV you sit. And then it's, uh, yeah, and, and have some it, uh, Alzheimer's dementia. Exactly. Kicking. Yes, exactly. I mean, I've seen that a lot of people, including my father. <sighs> Active lah. Active Terry, terima kasih ya. Terry, terima kasih ya. Terry, bos nampak. Terry. Terima kasih balik ya. Eh. Relate, yes. <laughs> Alah, lima dolar. Ah. Jumpanya banyak. Ah, ikan, ikan, ikan. Nak beli chicken rice pun tak boleh. <laughs> Macam pokok chestnut. Oh. Itu bukan kot. Susu. <coughs> Oh, why HSBC? There's an HSBC, HSBC <laughs> there. We, we have sponsors. Uh, sponsoring what? Yeah. The gate? Maintenance. Maintenance. And also the gate. Yes, and also you're the right. Gate. Correct. Right. Yeah. So, because the government doesn't give much money. You know. <laughs> Correct. What? So we need all this. In order to offer a lot of this private organization, so we have banks, uh, corporate organizations uh, to have a stake. In a lot of these uh, places, ah, so you only saw his, his, his HSBC. That's why you didn't see OCBC. Yeah. Uh, not just banks, lah, but also big that, companies. That's good. They care. Good. They care. Yes, they exactly. Care. They, have they, have money. Money. they have money. <laughs> they got the tower. <laughs> and I just like to prove to you. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Same. Uh, so, which is imprinted, and this is actually uh, uh, drawn by an artist who works for the National Parks Board. So, and it's also found on our stamp collections. Mm. So then when he drew this and then it was then taken up by the um, uh, the currency board to, uh, imprinted onto mm. a five dollar note. Okay, yeah. prove it. Yeah. Terry, terima kasih. Okay, kasih balik. Kasih balik, duitnya kasih balik. No, no, it's okay. Eh, berlampau. Kenapa tengok? Masuk jail lah aku nanti. Masuk jail. Yes. Oh, very strict here. Very, very strict. Yeah, it's very strict. Very strict. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You should come to Malaysia very relaxed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we we were like okay, people people are very yeah, highly behaved here. <laughs> no, we we love it here. We love it. Yeah. Here. Anyway, <laughs> what I like to highlight is this tree is um okay um it was said to be older than the botanic gardens because when the botanic gardens were established in eighteen fifty nine, there were already three of these trees here. Okay, two gone lah after a while because struck by lightning. Mm. Uh, so this one has the, the lightning protection system there right. on the corner there and this is so iconic you know during the time when uh, singapore's we call it singapore hollywood lah uh p ramli time oh, yeah. uh, when we have uh, quite an interesting film industry uh so this area was a very important site for a lot of the singapore bollywood the tree is used for you know for the the filming yes. yeah yes and i tell you we if you were to ask our parents some of our parents say yeah because this is where they have the in in um, singapore context we call it pathology Pato is a oh. Chinese word. Tau, eh? What does Pato mean? Dating. Dating. Okay. So this is a site where couples date. Ah, okay. And they okay. use this tree. Meet with the tree. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then they, you see, you see the structure of that branch. Yeah. Uh -huh. and people tend to sit. sit oh. Which becomes a problem as the tree matures. Lah, which is why in the past we don't have this. It's only recently. Yeah. Because okay. we need to protect that. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. people yeah. come here and scratch. Yeah. Okay. And they right, sit right. on the tree. Yeah. Stuff. Yes, exactly. So I you, love you. You, you, you love did, me. Kind of you this. did that as well during the good old times. It's not there, lah. We couldn't afford to come to the hotel. <laughs> 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 yeah. Pam pam. Are you sakit, mate? You know. <laughs> but what I like about this tree is, you see, it, it has been damaged a bit. Yeah. Uh, I think by uh, through uh, disease whatsoever. But uh, part of the structure is still intact. Yeah. So now it's still doing very well. This beautiful uh, dame. I show you how small the flowers are. 
and I tell you, it's very, very fragrant. Trust me, if you come in evenings especially, uh, we have a lot of tambusu trees, mm -hmm. very, very fragrant, it's like which is also there. dangerous when you come in evening. Like picture of the flower. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you can see, uh, yeah. Zoom, yeah. picture yeah. flower. The, 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 yeah, that the one yeah. was nice. Is it white or cream? It's yellow. creamy, yeah, cream, cream yellow. Okay. I mean, I don't know whether you see here. Other like, closer look. We we have this in UPM, but uh, not really flowering. Never flowers. Yeah. Okay. But this one is flowering. Yeah, and uh, this is native to Singapore. We're so happy to have uh, this tree. Uh, it's um, uh, common. Uh, mm -hmm. It's easy to grow, so common. And uh, uh, very unique because the structure of the tree trunks, you see, has got a lot of this is fissured bark, you know, a lot of these mm. grooves there. And apparently the timber, it's also heavy timber, mm. and was also, it's also used a lot in the past uh, as chopping boards okay, so uh, because, oh. yeah, because it is also uh, termite resistant oh. and oh. Uh, fungal oh. resistant. Yeah, okay. so that's what we say it was used for that. So, yeah. And the fruit will be... Uh, Ah, there. These are the fruits for me. Yeah, yeah and then they'll small. turn red. So small, can you imagine? Such a small fruit, give it 200 years, become this beautiful, isn't it? Nature. Growth and development. No. Give it time. Give it time. That's your thing. Give it time. Give us time. That's his specialty. Which one? Developmental biologist. Well, what is that? Oh my god. Sorry. What, what you just said, how you get from a really, well, even a single cell? Yeah. Oh, oh it, 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 it grow and develop. Oh, yeah. in my time, we call it plant growth. Now the modern world is developmental science. <laughs> <laughs> plant growth. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> uh, this is a bit high up, lah, but there are the flowers. Huh? Very fragrant if you get the chance to actually smell it, especially in the evening. So, which is why a lot of people say, hey, in the evening, very strong smell. What is this? Mm. Don't comment. <laughs> mm, you don't comment because you don't presence, know where it comes. Yeah, presence again. Presence, presence. <laughs> there should be monitor lizards here, Coralin, because there's a number of monitor lizards love these places. It's all right. This is um, Halifish Walk, not Reptile Walk. Oh, that's the charging. That's the charging point, charging point. of the oh. grass mower. Charging Does point. it go automatically to charge yes. itself? Yeah. All right. Smart little. Uh, no any... problems with snakes in Singapore? We do. Yeah. Um, in open spaces like this, the snakes are clever. They've been educated, so they don't come. <laughs> Seriously, because they're afraid. But you go to forested areas. Yeah. We even have pythons yeah. um, okay. and um, uh, cobras as well. Okay, just be a bit careful. We, can't, we have to be careful. I had one because my office used to be nearby here and I have some potted plants in front. It's quite interesting on the ledge. Mm -hmm. So I was watering my plant. It was just a small pot and I lifted, happened to lift it. You know what? Coiled. Baby python. Yeah, so I just put it nicely there because I want to take a picture. So I went inside it, one minute later, gone. Okay. Mm, so I don't know where now. Lah. <laughs> In your bedroom. <laughs> was it really the python? <laughs> it was a baby python. So cute. If there's a baby, there must be a mother, oh, right? Oh, <laughs> what's the mom? Yeah. But you see, the pythons, um, it is, we, we, as, ooh, lizard. Oh, is it? Mm. Yeah. That's a monitor, the monitor lizard baby also. Oh, it's so cute. At that stage, okay lah, I can accept you. <laughs> Once you become one meter and above, okay, bye. I stop here because of this tree. This is called the monkey pot tree. Monkey this pot. Uh, What's the pot? It's beautiful to see. Wait, let me see whether we can see. Very established, but you are naughty. Nowadays, they don't really fruit so much. Maybe we can see any from pot, the... Any pot? Any pot? Any pot. It's a huge pot. Um, it's from... Uh, it's from Brazil. But the pula, they're naughty. Also, higher up, I don't see any. There, this one. That's how it looks like. And uh, the nuts are edible, but apparently you can't eat so much of it lah, because look, it can like, be... Like, like a coco. Sapukaya got UPM. Oh. Sapukaya is what? Sapu, uh, sapukaya. Um, okay, Google. Is it, is it, is it uh, Brazil nut or something? Sapukaya. Ah, yeah, same family. Brazil nut. Oh, same, same family. family. Okay. Wait, wait, the same. Okay. Uh, spider, ah, spider, spider. Okay, ada. 
spider loves you. Ah, uh, don't. Yeah. <laughs> this is okay, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, don't you, you 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 don't see, but the flowers are fragrance, and then the fruit, and it's hanging upside down. It's not from here, lah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, hanging upside down, and there's a cap. Cap falls off, mm. and then the nuts. That apparently in its native uh, habitat. Oh, this is me. Is it kaya? Is it something? Oh, this is what? Eh, 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 very good. <laughs> Not blasting. Eh? There, there is a road in UPM named after this uh, tree because they 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 have uh, like a, a a couple growing. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, oh, okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's grown so, okay, beautifully. Right. Mm. So let's take a look at this. This is iconic. Also, this lake. Ooh. There, you, you see the iconic animal there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, was that a first princess? <laughs> this lake, this, we have three big lakes here, uh -huh. and each of the core of the botanic garden, we have one big lake. So, this is the oldest one, a swan lake. I think, yeah, construct, constructed in 1866. Mm -hmm. Back then, the botanic gardens not just serve as a botanic garden, it was also served as a zoological garden. Mm -hmm. So, which is why you see crocodile. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's true. It's not plastic. So yeah, and uh, we, we have large animals, even tigers and stuff like that, being kept here as a zoo. Oh, yeah, okay. and there was a story it's that safe. there was a story that the crocodile sort of escaped into this lake. So and then Stay in there. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, presence. Presence. Uh -huh. <laughs> you come in evening twelve o'clock. Maybe you'll see. Just wait here, lah. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, kind maybe of thing. something like no. a, a Loch Ness. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, but the 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 workers were afraid actually to actually work because they, there were cases whereby the the they need to eat, lah. Huh? Yeah. And you see, you see human beings around there. You see them. I mean, they see you as victim, lah. Uh -huh. But anyway, uh, in records it says the crocodile were never caught back. Um, but uh, I think it died lah. Put it that way lah to save the story lah. Uh, <laughs> right, naturally, okay. But whether it escaped to anywhere else, no. But because it's called a swan lake, in the past has always been the case. We always have to put uh, sickness ola, uh, which is the mute swans, swans, but only the white ones. So we always have to get a pair, only a pair, because they're so territorial. When we get more, boom, that's it. They, they really yeah. fight. So, but you notice there's only one. Why alone? The partner. Oh. I won't use the word lang. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what the next program is. Uh, whether to introduce a partner, which is difficult. Is it a he or she? This, this one's like it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a very different environment from. Very yes. Yeah. The one I saw in, 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 I, I saw them in London. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. yeah. So yeah, in in tropical Asia, so you question. So a lot of people question. Do they? They are not from here, yeah. but they sort of. Um, we really have to acquire them from places like that, and they have to adapt. Yeah. So um, they have to. They have to. <laughs> yeah. They so, have to. but we also have black swans. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the black swans are over at the other core. Um, so maybe it just come a bit so that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, black swans, but black swans is from the southern hemisphere, from New Zealand, Australia, lah. Mm. Uh, and they don't like whites. The whites don't like black. They cannot mingle. <laughs> so, so, they, they should make baby together. They should go. right? Ah. This is this is the what? This is the twenty yeah, first century already. Right. No, they still believe in their right. old mentality. Sorry, yeah. you are not me. I don't want you. Can because they try putting the black ones so that cannot. Yeah. But the black ones, even though not, not from this part of the world, they breed. The this one don't breed. Ah. Yeah, so we have signets. I mean, the baby uh, swans from yeah, the black so ones. They are more vigor somehow. Yeah, but oh. we also have a problem with the baby uh, swans because of. Uh, Polyethism. Oh, oh, oh. 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 That's nature. That's nature. It's nature, but it's very sad. Lah. So now I think they, they have a, a signet that is being protected now. From a nest of, I think I don't know a number, but only one left. So that's mm. being protected, the baby. So we have a number of black swans, but the white swans always two, or I should say one. And this is where it gets interesting. When we have children, sometimes they see three oh. animals, three birds swimming. So we ask the children, so how many swans do you see? They see three. I said, nope, there's only two. The third one is not. I said, oh, it's a baby. Is it? No, it's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> How do you tell the difference? Look at the neck. Yeah, ah, so it's good, good education program. Lah. I mean, like, if you if you are really trying to have this one here, 
wouldn't be a good idea like to have like a you know like a chicken so, pan you have a swan pan nearby i don't know whether they try because they never breed they never lay eggs they never I mean, like, very conducive for the swan maybe it's cool so the the uh, swan knows maybe. oh this is a, the cool the yeah, cool the maybe. cool little pan very expensive to have air conditioned pan for the was <laughs> solar 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 <laughs> <laughs> there's no asian bird that's like none that i know that well, know. swans, yes. I mean, like the in China or parts of that, yeah. but you, this no. part here is so iconic the from whole that life time. living in Malaysia. Ah, no. but not in the tropical no, Asia. No, no, tropical no, Asia, no. no. Correct. We yeah. got a uh, goose. Yeah. Goose. They don't swim. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with the geese, they are noisy. They, they, they are. Yes. <laughs> ah. Protection, protection. Correct. And they are so protective in that sense that they are yeah, attacked. Aggressive. Aggressive. Very aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Geese can get very aggressive. So um, this is the Swan Lake. There's a marsh garden which we are not passing by, and that's where then they were, we. It was also created as part of the zoological garden territory where it was uh, uh, an area for hippos. Yeah, so it was very marshy. <laughs> that was what, what we read, lah. We are going up this way. Swan Lake. Just to highlight, I mean, uh, Hopia odorata belong to this family. Odorata means the, smells good. Yeah, mm. I mean, I've never smelled the flowers. It's quite naughty also. But the the name there, the Diptoro, Diptorocapaceae, that's a very important family in the tropics, in the tropical yeah. Asia, yeah, the mm. Diptorocaps. Yeah. Uh, so we've lost a lot, but in our core nature reserve, yeah. Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, and the Central Nature Reserve, we do have a population of all these Diptorocaps that we still maintain. I think, and the problem with these trees is they, they, they don't flower regularly, yeah. so masting comes every five years or yeah. so. I heard was last year was the master year, so which they collected a lot of the fruits, yeah. tried to germinate, you know, um, X C two. Love the sound, love the sound, but you are not. So you have uh, forestry people also working <coughs> here. Well, the thing is that none of us here who work in the National Parks Board are trained as foresters because oh. you know uh, so it's kind of difficult and i have the issue problem because i deal with international work and so i say i'm not a forester so when they talk about forestry and stuff like that say, okay mm -mm -mm, stay here here yeah. filter filter buang you know yeah. Kind of thing. yeah but um those people who work at the conservation the nature reserves they are mainly um officers who are familiar oh, not yeah. with forestry because we don't have forestry mm -hmm. We don't have a uh, forest industry and stuff like that. In the past, we used to, but don't. So they are more familiar with conservation. Mm, in that sense, because, yeah. because in Malaysia, we, we separate the forest people yes. and the natural vegetation yes, people. Yes, So I used to work with colleagues from the forestry department, forestry department of Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. good good colleagues. Frim, there. Frim. Frim, correct. And Frim, Frim also when I was with Frim. the uh, herbarium. Where nice people. Ruth yeah. Ruth Hugh used to work yeah. here. Used oh, to be my boss. Long. She used to be my boss. We have got something in common. Oh, say hi to her. You see her. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss, no la. No la. Ah, okay. No la. Long time ago. Mm. Andy, that's the rain tree. That's the true form, the green form. Mm. Mm. So uh, it's yeah. been pruned a lot, but given. Oh, did you come by uh, from Changi Airport? Did you yeah, use? No, no. We, oh, we, we use my land. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Woodland, woodland. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to Changi on Saturday. Uh, you do? I'm flying out. Yeah. Ah, okay. If you do, oh, you're flying out from Singapore? Yeah. Ah, so if there's this pathway or road called the East Coast uh, uh, Pathway, yeah, it's ECP, where it's lined with a lot of these trees. Okay, right. And then uh, you see this rain really producing a lot, yeah, structures. So looking, correct. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, this one. So come about five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening, you notice the trees, the leaves droop. Wow. the the question earlier you about why they do this yeah. in in a, I, I i just remember that that's one in my slide but i didn't teach them yeah yeah something to do about the pelvinus thing well, yeah my, the, yeah the, the, the yeah. pelvinus yeah proof, but then yeah that's the reasoning yeah. Oh. Yeah, the same same as mimosa right yeah the mimosa by, by touch yeah yeah this is by light this is by light due to the the difference in electrical potential yeah there's no more there's no <coughs> sugar produced yeah yeah, so first it switches off. Yeah. Mm. It's probably actually more circadian. They probably, they probably know it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the biological clock. Yeah. Routine things to do. That's getting darker. Yeah, even when, the, sorry, during the day, when it starts to, uh, about to rain, and so the 
the sky darkens, mm -hmm. the trees also uh, the leaves also droop. Mm. Mm. So they really react to amount of light. Yeah. I like this, but this one, they look like uh, well, they are gymnosperms, but they are not. Um, these are casuarinas, uh, so they are different from those pine trees and stuff like that. For this one, but the fruiting structure okay. looks quite interesting. But they are cashewarinas. They are Gymno cashewarinas. Is it Ecosity for me? No, it's, um, now they've changed name. Last time used to be uh, cashewarinas something. Uh, now it's Gymnostoma. Change. Tell you blame the taxonomies lah. Keep changing the names. Blame the APG system. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Same. Uh, that's that why lah. Ah, you. Phylogenetic growth. Which is why, for example, <laughs> our... Um, it's angry now. <laughs> no, no, angry lah. Like, we love you. <laughs> yeah, without you, we don't have new No, no, no. no. We, we don't understand too because we... we also, ah. Uh, yeah. Do you all cause a problem too? No, no, no. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, no, no, maybe, no, maybe, no, maybe, maybe just contribute a bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like our national orchid. The national orchid is called Vendor Miss Jokim. Oh, okay. But the genus Vendor has changed. <laughs> Wow, mm -hmm. I need to revise my textbook yeah. knowledge now. It's called Papillo Nante. Who on earth uh, want to remember that? Name. Yes, wow. it's such a tongue twister. So, officially, for the layman, we still call it Vendor Miss Jokim. But in taxonomic books for the botanists, it's Papillo Nante Miss Jokim. Yeah. So, this is based on the DNA sequence again. Yes, correct. Right. Mm. That's, I so mean, like, uh, the physical won't change. Yeah, no, yeah. correct. That's why we call it Vanda. Is because it? physically, it looks yes, Vanda. It looks Vanda, yeah. yeah. Vendacious, anyway. You know, but. This is where then some taxonomists change their mind. They, oh yeah, this is... Then after they reverse back, <laughs> like, there are cases, minor cases like that. Like, so make up your mind sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that APG system that I mentioned, yeah. that makes a lot of people angry actually. Because they, they have to reverse all the Why? Mean, Why? For me, tomato is always going to be like a person. I know. Gone. I'm not going to change from <laughs> like a person. Gone. Too old. <laughs> oh yeah, you see, <laughs> correct, yes. The tomatoes, yeah, yes. The tomato is uh. tomato. Ah, I like this tree, ketapang, you know, eh? ketapa, the, the terminalia ketapa, ketapa, yeah, or the almond, uh, sea almond, so it's coastal, but really can grow, I mean, it's adaptable, it's not it coast, grow. yeah, it can grow inland a lot, yeah. but mostly you would see, no, that's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> sometimes in Malaysia, people yeah. do not use the banana leaf, they yeah. use this leaf, oh really, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for, for the, you know, wrapping, the wrapping, yeah, wrapping, wrapping. Yeah, yeah. but also, the, the another similar leaf, the um, delinear. Delinear, uh, also simple. That's what, uh, simple. Simple, simple, simple. That's what you use for nasi lemak, yeah. you know. But simple. what I like is that the leaves turn red. Uh, yeah, so this uh, is semi. Semi. semi this. So a lot of the leaves turn red, which looks beautiful. Real deep red. And it's also important in the fish aquarium industry because it's got a lot of tannin. Uh -huh. So they actually use a lot of the ketapang leaves to add into, uh, yeah, to add to the, a little bit of the acidity. Oh. But um, yeah, so not this one. This the one. The tannin acidify the water. Yeah, right. Yeah. Might as well put a tea bowl. <laughs> Slip it in there one, one, one tea bag. Float all the way. Alama, ah yeah. Why you? Mm, I wanted to show the rubber trees, but they are uh, here. Okay. Yeah, I can't because mm -hmm. I'll show you the F. F1 or F2 generation yeah. of the yeah. rubber trees that uh, Ridley planted. Yeah. It was planted over there. Uh, just ahead about um, after this uh, barricade 20 meters. Actually, two years ago, remember you visited that, that ru big rubber tree? Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. one brought by Ridley as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where was it? Uh, Kuala Kangsa. Ah, so okay. that was uh, 1872. Mm. The, the, the nine. Ah survived. yes, ah. one of them is ah. growing up. Still it's still there, still yeah, alive. Yeah. Oh, so it's true. One of the true seedlings. Yes. Ah, it's Must in visit. Kuala Kangsa, Kuala Kangsa. Kuala Kangsa. Yeah. Oh, Protected lah. No. Ah, uh, it's in uh, in, in so a enclosure yeah, like yeah. that lah. Oh, okay. Dekat pejabat daerah. Oh. There's a whole uh like a mini museum telling about. Really? This yeah. Oh, fantastic. Uh, if you if you want, we can share you the album so that you can see the Boleh. what was the information, what's the the tree looks like. Oh yes, we, so we have the it. album for that. Actually. Oh yes, yes, yes. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah. Just then, drop your email to uh -huh. the students can. later. Yeah. We'll share oh. the. Ni boss eh. <laughs> boss macam student juga eh. Muda sekali si boss ni eh. Eh. What? <laughs> it, it's called botanical preservation. True, right? I agree with you. Yeah, for people who who live amidst the gardens, I tell you, we rejuvenate ourselves. I use the word lah, rejuvenate ourselves. Rejuvenate. Which is why I uh, rather work with plants than you people. They don't talk they back. Don't talk back. Yeah, you can scold them that they don't talk back. And then when I say I talk to plants, people say, are you crazy? I say, hello, you talk to plants, the plants grow better, you know. Because you're giving them carbon dioxide. Wow. <laughs> 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 
You heard the sound? Yep. See the jungle sound yeah. here somewhere. Who oh, I should say this? This stream. I oh, forgot to mention. Yeah. So they recreate this stream um, also to recognize this um, area in Johor. Oh. Lama, I forgot the name. Um, <laughs> uh, because there's a stream which uh, Professor Connor collects a lot of um, no what? no it's uh, wait if I remember I think there's a placard uh, somewhere uh, oh god Allah uh, <laughs> don't don't quote me say Allah si Hassan Lauzi I know Lauzi oh, no. oh, no. chicken no that's that's called being human I know right no mm. thank you for accepting my flaws. <laughs> <laughs> that that's how you you are not stressing about life. Yeah. <laughs> if you True. want everything perfect, correct. Time, oh please. Correct. Oh, it's not gonna work. Yeah. So there, the male is beautiful, uh -huh. lah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ayah serabu. Ayah serabu. Oh, oh. <laughs> Drumsticks will be good. Yeah, they they match up with mamanya, but they're little. Cute though, this one. Oh, then then female is there next. It's a pair. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the name. But we come to the end. Are your favorite? You see? Yeah. You know where I stand? Thank you, Penny. Maaf eh, Afik, Afik, right? Uh, Perry, Andy. Number four. Amin. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alam. Ya Alhamdulillah. Okay. Anyway, I've come to the end. Yeah. So I hope that the last one and a half hour has been fruitful to you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. to the... Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. You, you, you do a fact check lah. Yeah. <laughs> Before you, you know, you uh, detail it for Nepal, you do a fact check. Anyway. No, no. It, I, I I understand lah because the apa ni orang dekat museum national stuff yeah. so lah apparently dekat semua macam Malaysia Malaysia punya lagi relax oh. bila benda macam ni yes tak tahu lah sekarang dah tahu ya yeah, but I'm, I'm relaxed with you all it's okay lah uh, uh. this this is technically 80% of my true self <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course oh, cannot yeah, reveal ambil, myself ambil, right yeah. yeah nanti nanti kita round drop uh, uh, album yes, album that will be so. that will be yeah, essential ni kompos antara lain Mata Kote. <laughs> nice stay in yeah. Singapore. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your stay. We and uh, well, um, one way or another, if you see each other, we see yeah. each other. Lah. If yeah. not, I'll hear from you. Lah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, 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 sure.